Uh, good morning. It's Thursday, May 10th. Uh, we have a lot of our earnings reports from major seafood companies today, and I wanted to use that as an opportunity to pull together some observations about uh, seafood industry consolidation and growth. Uh, first, uh, let's look at Thai Union. Uh, Thai Union's um, revenues surged. They're nearly double uh, the first quarter of this year compared to the period a year ago. Part of this was due to high commodity prices on tuna, but more importantly, uh, Terrapong and the company uh, is pointing to the growth of global branding as what's going to drive them forward. Uh, Thai Union purchased John West uh, about a year and a half ago. Of course, they represent uh, Chicken of the Sea. But they have a new company logo and a new focus on branding. They're going to try to pull together some of their uh, multiple disparate brands, uh, and they see that as a key driver for their global growth, and they intend to target uh, sales of about $5 billion uh, by 2015, uh, quite a hefty number. If we look at Highliner, Highliners follow this branding growth strategy aggressively. Uh, what it means is that a strong brand, a company with a strong brand, can fund and come in and acquire other seafood companies and gain uh, sort of some aggregate market power. Uh, and Highliners become, of course, the largest uh, food service uh, seller, seafood, uh, seller to food service in North America. Uh, Highliners earnings this quarter with the acquisition of Icelandic, uh, their sales were up about 62%. Uh, and also Highliner, again, is focused on a brand strategy. Uh, they very much want to uh, move forward by building their brands, which now include Icelandic, FPI, and, and Viking. Uh, finally, I want to mention Pacific Andes, another major company. But Pacific Andes is following a very different strategy, uh, kind of a resource-based strategy. Uh, Pacific Andes um, earnings uh, and, and revenues also grew substantially in this report, uh, driven partly by uh, expansion in Africa. Also, they've benefited from the high price of fish meal. Pacific Andes is following a resource strategy, where by acquiring uh, access to fishery resources, they then turn around and increase their sales in areas like China, which is their home market, accounting for over 60% of sales. But Africa has become their next big region, and they've taken their fishing power on South American hakes and, and southern blue whiting and things like that, and started exporting those types of products uh, to Africa, which accounted for 13% of their revenues and 28% of the revenue growth, something like that. In any event, this is what's driving the consolidation of the seafood industry. Uh, companies have a resource or a branding strategy, and the ones who are successful uh, at um, uh, expanding their brands and focusing on brands have more pricing power because they get away from the sort of commodity-driven uh, fluctuations in the industry. And that's why the branded companies will continue to get bigger. Uh, it, this is a healthy development, I think, for the seafood industry. I don't want to minimize it. In Lexington, Mass., this is John Sackton.